Hey, Jeff from the Indie Gamer Blog here. Continuing the Mario Kart May series leading up to the release of Mario Kart 8 later this month on May 30th, we'll be looking at the fourth Mario Kart game released. That is Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, this came after Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance and was the uh, next home console release for the series. GameCube was an interesting console. Uh, I sat it out, uh, as did a lot of people. It was a lower performer than the Nintendo 64 for Nintendo. Uh, like many other people, I was playing PlayStation 2 in that era. And I felt like maybe I was ready for more mature gaming that was on PlayStation 2. In retrospect, I think I missed out. There were a lot of great games on the GameCube, which now I can play thanks to the backwards compatibility of the Nintendo Wii console, which will play GameCube discs. And so that's just what we're going to do here. Uh, because I didn't have this game when it was originally released, uh, I didn't play it much. I think I played it a couple times, maybe in multiplayer settings, but that's about it. So this is going to be uh, my first real serious look at the game that I'll be able to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the Wii menu. We're going to go into the disc channel. There's that classic GameCube uh, intro with the xylophone. And we'll get right into it. I may have to adjust the screen here to not be stretched. There we go. And yes, we would like to display in progressive scan. Just in time. Lakitu's here, alright. We are ready to race. Well, I know that boat from Mario Kart DS and that, that sand level 2 looks familiar from some of the re-releases. Lots of new items that, uh, that chain. That's a big banana peel. That's, I, one of the key features of this game that I'm curious to really play with is the fact that it's double dash, so every cart has two racers. I know that much you can switch them. So let's get into this here. Yeah, we'll create some data. Alright. Go ahead and get started. Of course, up to four players. I'm gonna do single player here. We'll uh, we'll start with 50. All right. So right away, an expanded list, and this is fantastic. We've got Koopa back. He hasn't been back since uh, hasn't been in this since the original Super Mario Kart. So I'm very happy to see that. Looks like Koopa with wings is back, and we've got Birdo. Uh, my wife is a particular fan of of Birdo. This is his, her first appearance in the Mario Kart series. We've got um, a couple other new new folks. So we've got Donkey Kong back, and uh, Diddy Kong is here now. Uh, we've got the babies. Those are new. And this looks like Daisy, uh, who's sort of the doppelganger for Peach. And Wario's here, Waluigi, and then uh, Bowser Jr. So this is a, a fun bunch. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Koopa. And let's go with Birdo. All right. Oh, so we get to pick a different cart too. This is the first time I think cart customization became a thing. Um, we'll go with the Yoshi cart. That looks like a good pair up. And oh, well, looks like they brought back uh, a course with uh, with cars on it. A classic uh, from N64 with, with Toad's Turnpike. Kind of a new riff on that. Okay, I'm just gonna go with. Now uh, you know what we'll do. We'll do flower cup. That seems more exciting. All right, mushroom bridge. Looks kind of like a precursor to uh, Wahoo Island. Is that right? From Wii Sports. All right. Well, Birdo is pushing the cart. I'm guessing at the controls here. I did not have a good start. Okay. Okay, well, the hop is gone, but I can slide. That, that's kind of similar to what happened, uh, what they kept in, in Mario Kart Wii. Okay, we've got 
items. I saw there were dual items. Let's see. Well, that looked like a shortcut. Well, I missed that. Um, whoa, I ran right into that bomb cart. I'm trying to figure out what the item button is. I like this double item. Okay. Oh, okay, I figured out the item button. Yeah, okay. Oh my. Now this court, I think you can go up on the sides of those bridge. That that rings a bell for me. Okay, I've got a stack of red shells. Excellent. Now, something's coming back to me. I think the Z button is going to swap my characters. Avoid that bomb. Yes! Alright, I'm taking the shortcut this time. Oh, looks like I should have had a mushroom there, because I think I slowed down a bit. Well, that's alright. I'm going to use this, uh... Oh, so the person... The items are specific to the person, uh... wielding them, because I wasn't able to use the item button when, uh... when... when the characters were the other way. Can I go up on this? Oh, I can! Oh, whoa. Well, I fell off. The controls feel uh, similarly smoother and stranger than in uh, Mario Kart 64. So definitely a little bit smoother. The, the, the joystick is more responsive. Um, oh, there's a button to make the person in the back kind of turn around. Uh, but but it's almost so responsive that I have a hard time controlling it. And that, that might be because I'm used to Mario Kart Wii, which I've played a lot over the last few years. Um, but it is just, it's just a little bit different. Oh, I did not make it. It's, it's hard to aim up there. Was that a... that looked like a... a car full of mushrooms. Well, Birdo and Koopa are pretty excited I got first place, so that's... That's a plus. Not, not the best racing, but at least I managed to get first. Let's go to the next course. Replay? I feel like that that might be the first time we've seen replay. Alright, now this looks like Peach's Castle straight out of um, Super Mario 64, which is featured in one of the Mario Kart 64 levels. You can get to it uh, by taking a kind of shortcut. I'm going to try to do better with this start here. Oh, uh, that... That didn't work. I may not know exactly where to hit the, the gas in this one. It seems a little different. All right, got big Mario letters in the hills, kind of like Hollywood there. And I got Chain Chomped. Looks like Luigi and Waluigi are teamed up there. The system seems to be doing a lot of obvious pairings. Whoa, close call. I think it's more fun to kind of do random mix and matches with the characters, but... I want to save this to see if I can get a uh, shortcut. I noticed there were a couple of those in the last level. I want to avoid those piranha plants. So this game still has the, when you're drifting, uh, you can kind of toggle left and right, and and you can get a boost there, which is nice. A, uh, that doesn't return in Mario Kart Wii, but it is in Mario Kart DS, although to a fault snaking. I don't really see any major shortcuts in this level, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. It seemed like there were a few in the last level. And these trees have faces that almost kind of remind me of trees out of uh, Kirby, like in Kirby's Dream Land, the, the first level where they have to fight the tree at the end. And, well, that was a lucky break, got the two princesses there. Oh, but they are wily. More verticality, just like we saw in Mario Kart 64, all that's to be expected. What is this Birdo egg? I wonder if that's a character-specific item. It, it seemed seemed like it was. Well, it goes uh, Bowser and Bowser Jr. pretty well. Now, after I used that item, I noticed the characters switched so that I'm ready to use my next item. So they can each hold one item that I, I can kind of swap them if I need to. I'm going to try to... 
knock them out with that item and then steal their inbox. Now, didn't work out so well in the end on this one, but Birdo seems pretty happy about it. Of course, because of the point systems, I am tied here for first overall, which uh, is going to put me first. And we'll move on to the next course. We're on a boat. This does not quite look like Titanic. A little cheerier. When is the right time to start that? I don't know, this is different than uh, a lot of other ones. Some seagulls off in the distance on the right. That's a nice little visual touch. Now, this is directly influenced by the GameCube's Super Mario Sunshine, which is uh, a game I have tried to go back to a number of times, and I just have a hard time getting into that one, but uh, I can see it's got the Delfino Island uh, creatures, I forget what they're called, but they were out there bathing on the sun deck. Whoa! Ah, I, I am in the, the bowels of the ship here. Ooh, that's fun. Let's use this trio of shells. Don't need to waste them all on Peach and Daisy there. Maybe I do. They are back. Now, I am familiar with this course. Uh, it's been included in a couple of other... Ooh, I thought I could go into that water. Maybe not. Well, it has been included in a couple other cart games. Uh, as a, a retro level, uh, but I guess it might be a few tweaks different. This is a sorry showing. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I've managed to not, not uh, put myself in a very good position here. Let's see if Mario Kart's signature rubber banding will help me regain a better spot. I've got a star man. That's gonna help. Back and forth, so I'm in decent standing. Well, not for long. Well, I I need some items. I feel like I usually used to... Uh, other times I've played through this course I can go left. It looked like that was blocked off, so... That's slightly different. Uh, maybe it just depends on, on how many people you have playing. Uh, Oh my goodness. I had a feeling that was going to get me, but I was at least able to get those babies with the, uh, the green shell, but they got me back. Alright. Slowed down a little bit to get that item there. is neck and neck here, and not in a good way. Uh, Alright, well I ended up coming in fifth. Alright, we are in the final race here. My camera went out for a second, but it is back, and we are in Waluigi Stadium. I did not end up doing very well at the end of, uh, of the ship, whatever that was called. Got fifth place. Uh, I was really having trouble steering on that level. So we're gonna hope for a good comeback here in Waluigi Stadium. Now this is kind of a throwback to Wario Stadium from Mario Kart 64. Uh, similar muddy stadium, big video screen, uh, lots of ramps, moguls, uh, and generally a, a pretty large, lengthy course uh, in terms of just the sheer amount of track that we're racing over. And there's one of those giant Koopa shells. That looks like it's coming straight from Bowser and Bowser Jr. 
you are conspiring. Now, this is another course that has been used in subsequent uh, kart games. So, even though I haven't played a lot of, of Double Dash here, I, I have played a fair amount of these courses. Alright, yeah, there's that special Birdo item. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot it. It looks like it's really taken off to go after Peach and Daisy. They seem to be uh, the characters that my, uh, the game is really kind of pitting me against. I was trying to get that. Oh, that was a miscalculation. And I am paying for it now. Alright, final lap here. Let's make this count. Alright. Alright. Well, I don't think I've really got... Oh, lightning bolt. I don't think I have much chance of catching Peach and Daisy. Pretty much zero at this point. But I can get possibly a respectable overall score. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that special item and a red shell just on the off. No, they've already crossed the finish line. Well, Birdo may be excited, but uh, my enthusiasm isn't quite as much. It's it's worth noting uh, this is the first Mario Kart that actually features. 3D characters in addition to 3D courses because uh, Mario Kart on uh, Mario Kart 64 still had sprite based characters. So, this is by far the best looking Mario Kart to date. Uh, it's displaying in progressive scan, not widescreen, but progressive scan 480p, which is nice. Uh, colors are very vibrant. This is the award ceremony, again drawn right from Super Mario Sunshine, so keeping in line with the GameCube generation uh, uh, Mario. We're not in the Mushroom Kingdom as much as we are uh, in Delfino Island. They at least do put on a pretty good celebration. Uh, what did I get here? Third place, so Bronze Cup. Uh, I can put my initials in. I don't know if this will actually save or not, but... Oh, I gotta hit the button to go over. JHP. Well, my first records are in. That's okay. We are saving. Oh, saving complete. Now, I don't know. I think this is a real relic of the time that it spits me back out to the title screen. Um, you know, put me into the next race. What's the next thing to do? Not not come back to the title screen, but again, that's, that's a, kind of a relic of the era. All right, so as the music plays us out here, that is Mario Kart Double Dash. My first Grand Prix lap through it. Um, did want to look as we close out a couple other options. If I were to pick four player, it's worth noting you can do um, the kind of standard four, you know, one on one on one on one, um, or there is some co-op ways where you can uh, do co-op play, um, or you can do co-op versus individual and do some three players. So this does give you a couple different options for doing that. And I believe whenever you've got the co-op, you've got um, you got someone kind of manning the, the back of the cart and someone uh, steering. Not sure how that works, haven't tried it, but uh, an interesting idea, something different for the series uh, that we hadn't seen before. If I go into one of these, of course there's regular versus, pick your, your engine or, or battle. Um, we get the standard balloon battle but this is the first time that they had introduced a couple different modes here um, in in a 3D kart game. Super Circuit actually might have had a couple other coin runner mode, but um, I certainly didn't have these in Mario Kart 64, so this is a little different. There's Steal the Shine and Flee, uh, and use the bombs to blow up your rivals. So these are a little bit different. Um, and then of course you would pick your characters here. I don't have the controllers plugged in, so we'll We'll let that be. Uh, if we were to pick three player, we get a couple different options here. And if we do two player, we can either do um, head on head or, or co op. 
So definitely some different options there. All right, so we'll let this uh, montage play us out. Mario Kart Double Dash, it's actually pretty fun. IGN kind of famously gave this game a 7.9. Uh, the only thing I would really dock it for is that controls feel a little bit a little bit slidey to me um, compared to other Mario Karts. It's not exactly the same fidelity that I, I feel like you get in Mario Kart 64. Um, it just doesn't have that same feel to me. But I, I, I do like it. It looks fantastic. Uh, it, it, it plays pretty well. I like the idea that you can switch between the characters and use a little bit of extra strategy there. I'm always kind of a fan of that. Here's a little bit of what the split screen action looks like. Looks like it holds up really nice. Um, and and getting a couple extra characters in the mix, that would kind of set Nintendo on the path away from just the, the, the eight that they had had um, in all of the first three games. So that's kind of exciting, because now we know in Mario Kart 8 there's, there's really quite a lot of characters, including the, the Koopa Kids and... Um, can't think of all of them on top of my head, but I know they've added a lot of characters, and that's been something that's happened. I mean, in Mario Kart 7, uh, Mario Kart Wii, both of those games have a lot more characters than even Double Dash. Uh, and it's fun to see more of Nintendo's uh, characters, especially the, the Mushroom Kingdom characters, get thrown into the mix. There's a little bit of uh, the four-player split-screen, uh, which, again, a little more constricting because we're with the, the 4x3 uh, aspect ratio, but holds up really nicely in terms of, of the detail. The fact that it's running in 480p holds this together, looks really smooth. You can tell details have dropped out um, of, of these courses, but, you know, it's, it's intact really well. This is, this is you know, solid four-player action. Not as good as Mario Kart Wii, where you've got the wider screen giving everyone a slightly larger bit of screen real estate, um, but not bad for the, the limitations of the system at the time. So I've enjoyed my time with Mario Kart Double Dash, hope you've enjoyed watching, and uh, be sure to leave your comments below uh, with your thoughts on this game or any other uh, Mario Kart games here in Mario Kart May on the Indie Gamer blog.